Argo Suede and welcome everyone to Argo Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In today's video feature, I'm going to show you that it's actually quite possible to grow peppers, sweet peppers, in a limited space, meaning a very shallow space. And basically, I'm growing sweet peppers in four inches of soil. Four inches of soil, that's correct. Now, I added no fertilizer to the soil. Why? Because I'm actually trying to keep to the practice of crop rotation. Not organic fertilizer, not synthetic fertilizer. I gave it nothing at all. Perhaps the only way these peppers could actually get nutrients from the soil, adding nutrients, is when the zaman leaves basically break down. But the main reason for actually growing the peppers in the stand is to actually practice crop rotation. Now, if you're following us on Instagram, then you would have seen or heard or noticed that I actually got 105 sweet peppers for only $10. 10 EC dollars. I don't know in US, that's about let's say three dollars to four dollars, something along that line. 10 EC is about three to four US. And this is how well they're doing. I actually planted 10 of them, two of them died. I don't know what went wrong, two of them just died. And you'll see why I planted two more in their space. So I'm just gonna give you an overview now and explain to you what's going on right here. Okay, guys, so here's a close up view of the peppers. These ones right here, I don't know what went wrong, but they did not actually produce, they haven't produced as yet. However, they are flowering a lot. As you can see they have a lot of flowers hopefully they actually produce now this one is very short it's because one two two of them died well not these but two peppers died here and i transplanted two more here so they are now growing and these ones right here i did the same the leaves are not looking too good but then again i i suspect it's because of the amount of peppers in this limited space either way it's okay it's just growing and once it produce same thing here those um, well, not, not yet for these guys. Here's another one that's flowering a lot. I've never seen so many flowers. I just hope that they all become pollinated and they all grow out into massive peppers for me. Now, these are the prize ones. They have actually produced. Let me see if you can see it right here. Here they are. Doing very well. This one has four on it. One, two, three, four. Only one came on this one. <laughs> one pepper but it's so cute only one um this side right here it dropped off okay so this one is just impressive this one is just impressive bright and orange or yellow it's looking yellow orange so to speak and this one right here have only one one also but as you can see it's also flowering it's also flowering right here now as you can see it's leaning against the greenhouse plastic so sadly perhaps you want to grow taller but it's not gonna grow taller because it's limited also in the aerial space allow me to just show you how tough it is doing very well on the stock right there very strong i did not need to stick it obviously because this soil is very compact with roots roots from the peppers and the almond leaves or the salmon leaves I put them here to mulch it and to actually feed the plant because slowly breaking down the almond. Every time I have to keep adding almond leaves, so that means it's breaking down slowly. Here it is. Placed a lot in here. So 10 sweet peppers. Out of 10, two died at first. Transplanted two more. Four of them flower in a lot and the leaves are not big at all. These ones, the leaves are sort of big uh, and it's dense and it's actually producing. I do believe however that the depth of the soil because it's so limited is also affecting the size or the shape of the peppers. Now this is a very odd shape for a pepper. Oops, I rested by mistake, might as well just pick it then. Here it is. This is a very odd shape for a pepper and it's not a nice shape. Of course, you can't really sell this to somebody, but because you're practicing back in garden, growing what you eat and eating what you grow, it's quite okay to eat it like that. All you need to know, it's not shipped funny because of chemicals at least, but simply because of the depth of the soil. Um, the others are doing the same thing. So this is one that was growing outside. It's the same type of plant. So the fruit basically, they're the same. However, this one, as you can see, they have a more defined shape for a sweet pepper because it's going outside and the root is allowed to go deeper into the soil so you can see the comparison you can see the difference and it's because of the depth of the soil it's sort of staunching the growth so to speak it's limiting the growth of the pepper 
But as I said, this is bucket garden, sustainable bucket gardening. So you need not to worry about the shape of it, but as long as you can actually harvest and grow some peppers for yourself. So I want to encourage you to follow us on Instagram, follow us on our Facebook page. If you have a message, if you have a request, send us a message via WhatsApp. The number is 1767-617-0224. And remember, a bucket garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And agris wave is out.